everyone so i'm back with a review on the l'oreal infallible pro matte collection that has recently been released um probably i don't know maybe maybe two months ago i don't know i just recently saw i saw the finishing spray first and then i saw the foundation and powder um more recently within the last few weeks so i'm going to go over the claims tell you my thoughts on it and then i'll have like a side by side like a demo to show you how i applied it on the website the claims are that it is the pro look of long wear air light texture barely bare feel flawless demi matte finish and the description says achieve a matte finish that won't fall flat with this air light long wearing liquid formula lightweight and creamy foundation goes on smooth with the demi matte finish that lasts up to 24 hours hiding imperfections for a smooth clear complexion i picked mine up at rite aid um and i believe it was about 16 dollars there which is rather expensive i will say um definitely for drugstore but i believe the l'oreal infallible line is a little bit more expensive and i more recently saw this at target i forget how much it cost there it might have been like 12.99 on the website the l'oreal website here it's listed as 14.99 and it comes in 12 shades i'm trying to count here 13 13 shades 12 shades 12 shades it comes in 12 shades sun beige is the sixth darkest shade so it's like right in the middle there um so hopefully there's like a decent range there that majority of people will be able to find something that fits them so my favorite way to apply this thus far has been either with a makeup sponge excuse how disgusting this one looks or a flat top brush this one is from the sonia Casho like holiday line from this past christmas I haven't applied it with my fingers so I can't tell you my thoughts on that but I prefer the brush um, for more full coverage the sponge obviously gives you a little bit of a lighter coverage it is definitely a creamy foundation it's not super liquidy it's definitely more creamy than the um or thicker than the true match line but it doesn't feel extremely heavy on my face it does feel very air light like the claims and I think the coverage is pretty good i did two thin layers um that you'll see and it gives me pretty medium coverage i don't think it's full coverage but it doesn't claim to be high coverage on the back here it says medium coverage and i think that it's pretty good um definitely buildable so if you have mild imperfections that you're trying to cover it should cover those pretty quickly um and pretty easily so as far as the day matte finish i actually think that it's more matte than it claims to be the l'oreal true match to me is more of a demi matte finish where it's matte but it lets your skin kind of like show through and it doesn't take away all of the i guess shine you could say from your face but this i feel is, is pretty matte i've actually really really been loving this foundation it's honestly right up there with my l'oreal true match i think this will be perfect in the summer for me and i'll do like my l'oreal true match more so in the cooler months when i'm not as oily okay moving on to the powder this is the infallible pro matte matte finish 16 hour air fine texture oil free powder i got it in the color 200 natural beige um the powder is a little bit more i don't know difficult i guess to pick a color there are only eight shades in the powder foundation and i didn't get sun beige because i thought it was a little too dark the powder um then again my skin tends to like foundations tend to oxidize on my skin so i wasn't didn't want to pick one that was like you know already dark and then it was just going to get darker throughout you know the rest of the day so i went with natural beige which is 200 natural beige is actually like the second or third darkest color that they carry out of those eight they don't have as many shades and they don't necessarily match up like perfectly but nonetheless you still should, should be able to hopefully find a powder that fits your skin complexion so the claims on the website are the pro look of long wear define shine up to 16 hours and creates a perfect matte finish the description says it absorbs excess oil and reduces shine on the skin surface for up to 16 hours the lightweight pressed powder can be used alone to set foundation after application and or throughout the day for quick touch-ups the powder i believe was around 14 15 dollars i used the powder also today to set my foundation and i think it's a good powder um it's very 
silky. The infallible powder is more silky than the true match powder um, and it has a lighter feel to it not that the true match is super heavy but it does have a more air light feel like it claims to have and it is a silkier powder um i guess that's why it costs more also but i i'm iffy on the powder i kind of just feel like i could just use my true match powder and get the same results and it gives more coverage um as far as this being 16 hours of shine free that's not happening over here at all i guess if you don't have oily skin then yeah or if you have like very you know like normal skin or very minimally oily skin then it might give you those 16 i mean 16 hours is a long claim to keep you mad i I don't think I've ever run into anything that kept me mad for 16 hours. Um, but I do think it's a really nice powder. I can probably get about five hours of wear without getting oily. Um, so I think that's really awesome. Once again, it's I'm going to have to test it in the summer to see if I can get like the same length of being of not getting oily um because i don't get you know as oily in the winter here or whatever okay lastly l'oreal has released the infallible pro spray and set makeup extender setting spray which is oil free this one i think it was about 12 somewhere between 12 and 15 dollars also at rite aid you get 3.4 fluid ounces which i don't think this is bad for a makeup setting spray because you're not going to use nearly as much as quickly as you would a foundation or powder claims to lock makeup for a just applied makeup look all day it has a lightweight mist barely there feel dermatologist tested non comedogenic Christian says keep your makeup looking fresh hours after application no melting fading or touch-ups necessary this lightweight oil free setting spray locks in your total makeup look face eyes and lips preventing color from smudging or settling in fine lines for all day staying powder <sighs> all right this stuff I really, really like. I mean, besides NYX and e.l.f., no other makeup from makeup brand from the drugstore has released a makeup setting spray. And I guess out of, you know, between NYX and e.l.f., like L'Oreal is like a more well-known brand. Like it's one of the more classic brands like L'Oreal, Maybelline, Revlon, Rimmel, those. Um, so I think it's awesome that they've released a makeup setting spray and i really really enjoy this the mist is very very fine which sometimes with the l for the nyx one it might spray a little bit more harshly and not really evenly but this is definitely an even mist all over the, the face it's very similar i think to the kat von d lock and load mist setting spray i don't feel as much of the tightness when i use this as opposed to the kat von d spray but I do think that it definitely extends the wear of my makeup and it brings back life. Sometimes when you use mattifying foundations and powders, your face gets a little powdery and cakey and you can, sorry. So you can spray this over your face and not only does it set your makeup, but it kind of just brings like your face back to life. It makes it have more luminosity to it. Your skin can like, you know, breathe a little bit better so that you don't really have that, that cakey feeling. L'Oreal is like my top favorite drugstore brand um and i've been using it for years i highly suggest the foundation if you love the true match like liquid line or an, and you get oily like i think you'll really love this infallible line i do really like the powder it's super silky i have not tried it on its own so i don't know about um how great the coverage is on its own but it's very silky um and it doesn't look cakey at all and then as far as the mist setting spray this i just love it sets the makeup it makes it look youthful um it doesn't you know settle in the fine lines like if you're having fine lines around your eyes or around your mouth and your forehead it just makes your skin look better brings life back to it. it's like kind of like my go-to everyday makeup now so yeah those are my thoughts on the new l'oreal pro matte infallible line thank you guys so much as always for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye